Welcome to my presentation. My name is Makiko Hirata. I call myself Dr. Pianist because I have a DMA, a Doctor of Musical Arts degree, and because I promote the power of music to heal. My presentation today is based on a functional MRI study I conducted with a research team from the Center for Performing Arts Medicine at Houston Methodist Hospital. It reveals how the methodical patterns in Johann Sebastian Bach's so-called Goldberg variations may provide an optimal brain exercise, an equivalent to circuit or internal trainings for our bodies. It has significant pedagogical implications, as well as a potential for therapeutic and clinical applications with further studies. In this study, I listened to my own recording of the Goldberg variations in a 3.0 Tetra fMRI scanner, simulating a playthrough of the piece. Christoph, who was leading the study, told me later how the widespread increased blood flow during my listening was on a level he had never seen before. He saw the blood gushing through the sensory, attention, memory, motor, and emotional regions of my brain. It surprised him enough that he came to attend my performance of the entire Goldberg Variations a few months later. It is not a negligible commitment, considering that the piece, from its first note to the last, can take over 90 minutes. It is an iconic masterpiece used symbolically to suggest its transcendence of life and death, good and evil, and our everyday reality in movies like Silence of the Lambs and The English Patient. Bach was fanatic about numbers. Let's take, for example, the number 32 that can be seen throughout this magnum opus. Goldberg Variations consists of the opening aria, 30 variations based on the aria's 32 note bass line, then restating the opening aria, thus dividing the whole piece into 32 distinct parts. Most of the variations consists of 32 measures, and the first publication of the piece, which Bach oversaw, was printed in 32 pages. There are many other ways in which Bach used numbers to schematically organize his Goldberg variations. Most significantly for this study, the 30 variations are organized into 10 groups of three variations, each respectively an exercise in style, keyboard technique, and counterpoint, a compositional technique as many of you already know. The repeated patterns of the variations balances the three different ways of our musical engagement, sensual, physical, and intellectual. Bach helps us avoid excessive overuse of any one part, thus, Despite the difficulty and the length of the piece, one rarely hears of a player suffering from an overused injury from preparing a performance of this piece. Through this balanced pattern, Bach also reminds us to keep a balanced perspective with our mind, body, and ears. This has significant pedagogical and philosophical implications. Another lesson this study revealed was the importance of silence. Between each variation, I was given 20 second silent periods to obtain a baseline for the fMRI analysis. However, the brain showed similar levels of activity during the silence to when I was listening, while in slightly different regions, indicating the necessity of silence in the processing of emotional and musical input. This resonates with some of the other recent findings on the importance of silence to our cognitive health. The fMRI image allowed for our observation of Goldberg variations igniting a rapidly changing functional connectivity in wide range of my brain as I listened. It also revealed similar patterns in my brain functional connectivity and Goldberg's musical attributes. For example, the similarities were found to be significant for variations in G minor, evoking emotions. Two voice variations also found similar functional connectivity. In conclusion, we could see consistent changes in connectivity patterns pairing up with variations of similar musical characteristics, 
suggesting that the music might have a therapeutic impact by exercising different areas of the brain, especially if the patient was familiar with the piece or had actually performed the piece. With further studies, we might find more ways to use the wide variety of sensual, physical, and intellectual activations associated with works like the Goldberg variations in therapeutic treatment of neurologic-related conditions. I would like to thank Performing Arts Medicine Association for their invitation to give me my presentation at this symposium today. This presentation was based on a study conducted at the Center for Performing Arts Medicine at Houston Methodist Hospital and their research institute. It was funded in part by a grant from the Tsinsang and Weifeng Chao Foundation. The study was published under the title, An Exploratory Pilot Study of Brain Activation and Functional Connectivity Induced by the Goldberg Variations 276 years after their commission in the December 2019 issue of Medical Problems of Performing Artists, pages 191 to 197.